We start episode 2 still on the Dampier Peninsula. We are still around the Cape Ludwig area and continue to explore the peninsula. We've now got out to Signet Bay Pearl Farm, which is a working farm on the top of Cape Levick. And you can see the tides right out at the moment. But otherwise this would be very full of water, mangroves and possibly crocs. So here we have the old style pearling lugs. Got a few parked up now. And there's uh, Missy going up to the uh, pulling lugs, looking to see if she can find a lost one or two or five. Oh, she's found a motor. Yes, that's correct, that is a motor. And here's the current day working uh, pulling lugs. Self propelled, amphibious. Hey, Jules, can you see the motor on this one? Still going? We are leaving Cape Levick. We are at the moment putting the tyres up and doing a check before we go down the really bumpy corrugated road. And we've rode into Middle Lagoon. We've uh, made it to Middle Lagoon, a little spot mentioned to us by uh, one of the guys at the camping store who says this is a great spot. So we've left Cape Levick, uh, Cool German today, and this is where we've landed for the just an overnighter. We just we thought we'd come in and have a look. So you see there a uh, shaded area, and that's our setup for a quick overnight stay. Giving the Jan set a, a, a once over for the first time. Seems to be running okay. And just out there, we were fishing earlier on, and one of the rocks out there was um, had a colony of blue bone. Crossing, coming into Beagle Bay on the back roads. A little bit scared there was going to be crocodiles in this water. Not sure what the collective for um, eagles are, but these wedge tail eagles are probably a swarm of maybe 20 or 30. Hard to see on the video here, but there's um, seem to be just circling, not sure what they're up to. Just behind our setup, I believe, are what we call the King Leopold Rangers, which sits the Winjana Gorge. After setting up camp at Winjana Gorge, we drive 30 k's to Tunnel Creek to explore the subterranean cave.
we climbed in over through these rocks here into here when we get inside this is it it's above us light shining in Tunnel Creek is a track that runs underground for 750 metres which requires you to wade through several permanent pools and return the same way. Starting our trek into Wingana Gorge. Very impressive. Safety. across the water, Tim. That is a very brave bird. It's um, Monday the 15th of June and we're approaching the um, Napier Range at a passing called the Yamira Gap. This silhouette here is meant to be Queen Victoria. But here we are, we've just got ourselves back onto the Gibb River Road after spending the night at Minjana Gorge. Miss Concentration here is doing all the driving this morning. Uh, for a little bit anyway. Don't try and liken me to the Queen Victoria. Okay. It doesn't look like Oh, it Jules, Jules is now so conscious that her noise is just pointing this one here. <laughs> exactly. So there we go, we've just passed the Yamira Gap. Woohoo! And a little bit more of the Gibb River. So the roads are, have been up to now been relatively okay. Um, you can see a section of bitumen seal sections coming up here. From about the 100k out of Derby mark, there's been a few bitumen sections, but um, obviously through floodways and then straight back onto the gravel. Um, found ourselves a nice little spot here on the um, on the banks. I think it's the Barker River, and we've just set ourselves up here. So intended just coming in for one night, but we're going to stay for a second night. So the setup is quite a quick setup, no awning, um, quite shady, water is accessible, um, so yeah, quite a, quite a simple setup for a short stay. So we're at the Mount Hart Wilderness Lodge, we've come into Annie Creek, 300 
me to walk in off the car park and there we have the little creek. St. Matthew's Gorge. Gorgeous little watering hole ever. This. Beautiful. It's such a beautiful swim. We have our backpacks on. Water necessities. We're now walking at the bottom of the gorge, which is one and a half k return. This is part of Bell Gorge. The Bell Gorge waterfall. Very beautiful and impressive. Little watering hole there, but the gorge is there. Spanning out. And when you go up that way, oh, there's such a beautiful waterfall. Nature's beautiful garden for sure. Day 23, we are at Manning Gorge. Once again, it's a one and a half kilometre walk to the end. After the one hour walk, we have arrived at Manning Gorge. Morning! It's day 24, June the 19th, and we're heading down into the Mornington Homestead or Mornington Station. And uh, this is the road in. It's about 100 k's off the Gibb River Road, and the scenery is absolutely stunning. As we head in. The Mornington Wilderness Camp is located in the heart of the Kimberley. It is part of the Australian Wildlife Conservancy and one of two station stays that we stay whilst on the Gibb River Road. This is part of the Gorge Saint. Saint what? St. John's? St. John's Gorge. been exploring the um, Darmon Gorge at the Mornington um, Wilderness Camp. Um, we're at the end of this gorge, having taken the kayak out for a few hours now. And we've just had a bit of an exploration and Jules has just found something. What is it? I found the rock. She's still hunting gold. Yeah, I think this one <laughs> is
campsite's actually 34, no, 43 kilometers from Pimp River Road. So after a little bit of rock climbing through there, we come down to Lily Pond. And Lily Pond is called Lily Pond because when you see the lilies, Gravilia pool in which you climb from up there onto this ladder down walk your way across the top of what used to be waterway down to Really a pool. We've come to the second stage of the Gravilia Gorge. Scanning across. That goes down into another stage, which we'll explore soon. Aboriginal. Hello guys, it's day 26. We're at Charnley Station and we've come to Dilly Gorge. We've come from up there, car park, probably about well, no, 200 metres down. A bit of a rocky outcrop, as you can see. You come down and once you're down here, you see some absolutely gorgeous water swimming holes. So it looks like a nice little spot to we'll swim, explore and lunch. Bye for now. These things have got the cutest little faces. Too close to the cat beep it. Is he? Oh no, he's just intrigued. That's all. He's just intrigued. If he gets too curious, just beep him. He'll get scared. Hello, Pinkaboo! <laughs> he's <laughs> licking us. We know, we know us as well. <laughs> there's a bark. There's a bark. <laughs>